hello there my cake friends and thank you so much for joining me um, for the cake dream to cake biz challenge remember today is day one of the challenge and we are kicking off it is the 21st of july 2020 um, and what a lovely day to have this challenge what a lovely tuesday guys um you actually coming here and showing up for yourselves really just means one thing to me it means that you are committed to your personal growth and development it means that you are committed to seeing results in your cake business and i'm really um you know i'm honored to be able to to be in that position to serve you um to be in that position to show up for you guys and actually deliver this challenge so what's happening um today is we will be talking about money mindset so if you've not downloaded the workbook for the challenge please do that if you've not signed up i'll be putting the link to the challenge in the comments below and i want you guys to go there and sign up for the challenge so now once you sign up for the challenge i will send you um if you click the link there will be a, a, a form that will pop up i want you guys to fill out your details just your name and your email address so i'm able to send you um the workbook for the challenge the workbook has four pages printed out and use it throughout these four days um, it's going to have um, feedback for your homework. Um, I've made um, places where you can actually fill out your name and take notes throughout this entire exercise. So if you've not been following me, my name is Esther the Cake Queen. I help passionate and overwhelmed cakers transition into owners of profitable and rewarding cake businesses. This challenge is designed for these difficult times that we are all in, um, simply to push you to the next level to get the results that you want for your cake business. So we're going to dive right into it. Today we will be talking about money mindset. Tomorrow, day two, we will be talking about your money story. Day three, we will be talking about the burning topic in the cake world pricing your custom cakes and um, on day four which is going to be the last day for the challenge but don't hop off because we have a master class day four we will be talking about um, developing your cake vision board and I'm very excited for that because that is actually where everything will unfold um, then obviously day four will be Friday Monday you have the weekend to catch up remember after every day's training i'll give you homework to complete after the training after today's training i'll give you homework to complete complete that homework and post it inside this group cake dream to cake this facebook group um and um when you post it you actually stand a chance to win one of the prizes that i'll be announcing on day three so there are prizes up for grabs participate in all the four days attend these sessions listen to the live trainings or to these trainings um and then um comment um by giving feedback to the um, homework exercises by um by just commenting in the group um, and then you stand a chance to win one of those lovely prizes that i'll be announcing inside the facebook group so let's talk about money mindset. Oh, just before we do that, I want to quickly go and talk about um, the masterclass. Remember, we have a masterclass on Monday. You have the weekend to catch up. On Monday, we will be talking about my five secrets to getting returning clients, guys. Then I'll be busting some myths in the cake industry. I'll be sharing some facts with you about um, uh, the cake industry and baking in itself and starting a cake business. So make sure you attend that because it's going to be epic. It's, it's something huge that I've planned for you. So make sure you attend the masterclass on Monday, the 27th of July. So today we are talking about money mindset, a very important topic, I believe. And I want to start with this topic because, you know, money mindset is one of those things that is a game changer if you are an, if you are an entrepreneur okay um, so as an entrepreneur it's very important that you are in the right frame of mind it's very important that you have the correct mindset to do business generally and also for your own uh, um, personal finances so um, I'm quickly going to define money mindset your money mindset uh, is basically those um, overriding thoughts overriding emotions, overriding thought patterns and behavior patterns that you have about finances and about money, okay? So your money mindset is your state of mind in pertinence to money. What are your thoughts? What are your beliefs, your value systems when it comes to money? That is your money mindset, okay? 
Um, so um, why is it important to talk about money mindset? Money mindset is important because when we do business, we are not, as entrepreneurs, let's leave the other guys. We are not charity organizations, right? So we are not social entrepreneurs. We are entrepreneurs that are in business to actually um, bring an income we are there for gain okay we are there to roll those profits over so if you are there to roll those profits over and if you are there for um, um obviously to deliver to serve and um you know that you are starting business because you want to deliver you want to serve you saw a need in the market and you know that serving and delivering that need is profitable so that's why you are doing it so if you are there for that reason then you have to need to have a positive money mindset so i don't want to say we need to have a correct money mindset because correct is very subjective so i'd rather say you need to have a positive money mindset because if it is negative it can really affect the way you feel the way you deliver so if you are not feeling good um about a thing in your business or in your life it will affect your results okay so um i want to bring one really important aspect about a money mindset sometimes um we believe or we are we have that ideology that there is scarcity and that we feel so competitive at times and we compare ourselves to other cakers and we compare ourselves to other entrepreneurs um, so why is it important then to have a positive money mindset and how do you adopt a positive money mindset in such a noisy world um, where so much is happening? What's important here is, wh why we need to have a positive money mindset is, a positive money mindset basically helps us to be in, firstly to be in a correct frame of mind. And it helps us to channel those resources that are actually ours. So that we are able to operate from a place of abundance and not from a place of scarcity. So a positive money mindset helps us to take hold of what is ours. So I am a believer that, I am a believer and I believe that um, there are sufficient resources for all of us. I believe that God has placed enough resources for all of us in this world. And if we are able to channel those resources by the way we think, because negative a negative money mindset tends to um it tends to channel away your resources while a positive money mindset brings those resources to you because if you are in a positive state of mind if you have a positive money mindset you are in a place of receiving instead of pushing away all the opportunities that may come your way okay so let me say that again if you are in a in a if you have a positive money mindset there is an open channel for resources to come to you because you are open to receive. So I'm just going to give a quick example here to really just break that down, to break that nugget down, okay? So, um, for example, you don't have that money, the, the money to spend right now. You don't have the money to go to that expensive restaurant, okay? And because of your money mindset, you have a negative money mindset, let's put it, let's have an assumption that you have a negative money mindset. You believe that... Oh, I don't afford that restaurant. I don't afford to dine in that restaurant. So, oh, well, I'm just going to pass it away or pass it by or pass by it, okay? But if you have a positive money mindset, you want that experience of dining in that restaurant. A person with a positive money mindset would take that last penny they have just to go and buy a bottle of water in that expensive restaurant just to have that experience of dining in that restaurant, okay? So that helps them to see what it looks like because you thought this restaurant is so expensive You close all the opportunities that are available for you to explore to even understand what it looks like inside to understand What type of a menu they have to understand the service or to experience the service that they have inside that restaurant So because you have a negative money mindset you are closing all those doors that could have been open to you so a positive money mindset does not necessarily mean that you have all the money in the world. It just means that you are open to receive and that you are open to have those resources be channeled to you. Okay, so in that example that I gave, the person that has a positive money mindset will actually go in that restaurant and order a bottle of water, right? Instead of just walking away. 
they would go in there and order water just to drink. And the opportunity that comes to them is that feeling of they are sitting on that table, they are given that menu because people don't judge them because they are in there. People know that if someone works in there, they have to serve. So they get that experience. So that is the difference between having a positive and a negative money mindset. It allows you to actually get the resources that are, that are actually meant for you. So an abundant mindset is key to living the life of your dreams. An abundant mindset is key to actually um, moving into that place of opportunities, um, picking up or taking advantage of opportunities. Um, I just quickly want to give another example um, that is cake related. So if you are a cake business owner, uh, I know that in the community many of you guys are complaining about cake stuff being expensive. Um, or wanting to start a cake business for that matter. So what I would like to advise you is if you believe that you want to, if you know that you want to start a cake business, why don't, I, why don't you just go to a cake supply shop and just go browse those shelves, you know, just to see, get a feel of what the um, ingredients costs uh, look like, to get a feel of what the equipment um, that you need costs, you know, what the actual costs are. Make a list of the things that you want and um, go ask for a quotation and find out how much it would um, ask, um, how much it would actually cost cost to um, for you to start that cake business or for you to buy the equipment that, it, that you need to, to actually start your cake business, you know. Um, you don't have to, you don't have, you don't need to have that money immediately. But the fact that you took an initiative to actually go get a quotation means something and it's actually making a, a faith statement. You're putting yourself out there, telling yourself that um, and telling everything else around you that this is what you need and you're ready to get it right. So sometimes we want things, we need things, but we don't take the initiative to actually go out there and, and, and get what it is that we need right. So this is what I want you to think about. I want you to identify three money blocks. And that is your homework. Identify three money blocks. So money block is those things that are stopping you from getting where you need to be because of a financial situation or because of your financial frame of mind. Or as we said and explained or as you got training today because of your money mindset. Okay, so because of your money mindset, there are money blocks, right? So what are those three things that you want but because of your state of mind, you are not getting it, okay? So I want you to identify, excuse me, I want you to identify three money blocks. If only this was solved, I would get that. If only this situation could improve, I would be able to do that. If only I had this, I would be able to do that. If only I was able to, or if only I was qualified enough to, then I would get that. Do give me your three money blocks and I will chat to you guys again tomorrow. See you.